three days under your belt, typical beginning of fall camp? Yeah, I think so. You know, I, I think you can see a change in our guys. You can see strength. You can see speed. Uh, you can see knowledge of the system and expectations of how we work. So, you know, there's a lot of good things and good signs that we've seen a lot of growth. And, uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of potential. And uh, kids you can see who we're counting on have, have really put the dedication in through the summertime and since we finished spring ball. So there's a lot of encouragement. Jeff, I mean, it's it's readily apparent when you, you walk out there, even in, in shorts and, and jerseys, that there's some guys who've gotten a heck of a lot bigger. The, as a staff, were you guys pleased that you had such a commitment from everybody in the off season? You know, we've had a, we've had commitment since really we first got here. You know, a lot of them didn't understand and didn't know what we were looking for. But as we we've progressed over the last year and a half, they've learned. They've been very accepting. The kids want to win. Mm -hmm. They they really do. And 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 believe me, the kids understand what this program's been through in the past ten or fifteen years, and, and really since 1998. Yeah. I mean, they know that. They hear that. They understand. And so, you know, they, they are taking it personally to, to change that. And, and, you know, but in that process, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. And hopefully this year, you know, with the added strength, with the added knowledge, with the added year of experience in the system, you know, we have more ups than we did, than we did downs. Getting the running game going, I know, is is paramount for you this year, and it's 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 baby steps because literally now you have some babes back there. You got a guy like Brandon Sullivan who's kind of leading the charge, but I'm sure you have some guys who are a little wide eyed right now uh, back there carrying the ball for you. Nonetheless, you pleased with kind of the the mixed bag you have to to choose from as far as running backs this year? Yeah, I tell you what, that's probably the most asked question going into this off season. There's no question about that. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot that goes into a running game, uh, and, and you know everybody talks about the timing of the passing game between the quarterbacks and the receivers' of protection. Well, there's that same timing in the running game, and uh, you know we do have some young kids. You know we do have a lot of young kids back there, and that's okay. We're going to continue to get them better. A lot of those young kids have gotten a lot of reps. I mean, in three practices, we got some tired legs now, and that's a good thing because their reps, they're getting their work in. And, uh, you know, they've shown signs of being very, very talented and, uh, and you know, exactly what we need uh, to fill out the running back position. So, but again, you know, they're young, so let's not put too many expectations on them. Let's let them learn how to play college football on a day-by-day -day basis, and let's get them as good as they can be going into the first game. And, and to say, well, a running, a running game's not working and blame it on a running back, obviously, I mean, you need an offensive line that's going to help out as well. But can you see that there's some cohesion there between those two groups, two groups even, you know, three days into camp right now? Without question, I'm going to tell you what, the offensive linemen, if there's a group of kids that have worked harder in this program, you'd be hard-pressed to find it. Those kids as a group have, have done a great job in the off season. In the summer conditioning, you can see strength, you can see speed. I mean, kids like Tommy Draheim, who now, when they hit somebody, they, they, you, you see it now. Mm -hmm. You know, Trask, you know, obviously is the senior. He's the leader. He's played a lot of football. But Curtis Gunther is another one. I mean, though, Curtis and Tommy come jump off the top of my head because those kids are noticeable on the edge. And, and you know, and it's a credit to them. You know, we're all in this together. There's 11 guys on that on the field, you know. And when it doesn't go right offensively, who do they blame? They blame the quarterback. Mm -hmm. When it doesn't go right in a running game, who do they blame? <laughs> That's why they call us running backs, <laughs> you know. So we we accept those responsibilities, and 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 you know, hopefully we have a group of kids that uh, back there that can make a lot of good things happen, even when bad things, you know, when things break down. And it seems like the the one constant has been since this group of coaches arrived here on, at San Diego State is the kids' attitudes really hasn't changed. I mean, they have been great about the way they've attacked this, gone about it, and, and conducted themselves, and I'm sure that's something you guys are proud of. It is. Like I said, you know, these, these kids understand. They know. And, 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 and to make the statement that, you know, one of the things Coach Hoke really does a, a lot of is stress the history of San Diego State University. Like Fred Dreyer came back and spoke to the team yesterday. You know, they're learning about that history. And, and what, what we hope they take from this is what is their legacy going to be? And, 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 and how are they going to change kind of the, the way this program has been going? And that's up to them. 
and they have taken it upon themselves to do that. So it's exciting to see, and, and obviously we've got a long way to go. Make no mistake about it, we have a long way to go. But you can see the steps, you can see the strides, and they care. And, and when people care, you know, a lot of good things can happen.